Hey everybody, welcome back to Gameplay First Impressions. So today we're going to take a look at Mega Coin Squad, a game by Big Pixel Studios, I believe, published by Adult Swim Games. It's available on Steam as of today, and it is a, a, an arcade styled action platformer with a heavy emphasis on the multiplayer. So the multiplayer itself is local co-op or couch co-op, so it's no online multiplayer, just local co-op, which may miff a, a few people off, quite a few people. Um, I'm kind of a big fan of the whole idea of couch co-op, although I have no one to play with, which is annoying. Um, <laughs> I like the idea of having to get together with friends to play games. It reminds me of back in the day, and I've said this before, playing Goldeneye. Your friends bring their N64 pads around you, all sit and you play Goldeneye all day. It was good fun. That's why I, I, I like that kind of idea. So it's available on Steam today. And it's at a cost of £10.99 full price. It has a sale starting and it's going to be £8.79 for that sale time. I think it's a week or two that it's going to be on. I didn't check the actual length of the sale. So it's available on Steam as of today. What we'll do is we'll look at the options menu firstly and then we'll look at the actual game itself. So you can probably tell already it's a pixel art game so you're not expecting your full range of different, your, your full array of different option settings for graphics and such. You've got a CRT effect that you can switch on. I don't like the CRT effect. It looks weird. It makes me feel a bit nauseous. Um, you've got your sound and music on or off. If I do that, the music will start playing again. Um, you've got your full screen. This is actually a gripe I do have. So the game seems to always want to, to load in full screen, which is kind of annoying for me. So when you look at your resolutions, you've got, a, I've got it set to 1080p. You can set it as low as 1600 by 900. I don't know why you can't go to 720p or lower, but neither here nor there. Um, but my monitor is a 16 by 10, 1200p monitor. So when it loads up in full screen, it looks all stretched and weird. I'd prefer it to like boot up in windowed mode. You can view your controls. You can use gamepad or, or keyboard. You can't actually rebind your keys there. Like that's what you use. You have to use those. Neither here nor there. I, I don't really mind. When you're using a gamepad, I usually find the settings that they've put in the game are fine for what you use the gamepad for. It's never like some unusual thing you have to do, so that's fine by me. Totally cool. Multiplayer, I can't really show you anything. You can do a quick match or a custom tournament. Custom tournament kind of gives you like how many wins to, and you can then select which you want to turn off and things and stuff. Um, no, wait, did I have big heads mode? Because uh, if it's couch co-op, it needs to have big heads. Deathmatch, no big heads. Hmm. Uh, there's something the devs should add, big heads. Big head mode is like your kind of traditional multiplayer couch co-op kind of deal. Ah, and you've got your quick match. Y you see, you load in and you can like you know, do this and so on and so forth with the keyboard and the, the game pads. I can't do that today because there's only one of me sitting here. If I could duplicate myself and do it, I would. So we'll do single player and I'll show you what's going on there. So when you go into single player, it's like a quest mode. It's like a kind of single player, you start at the beginning and you work your way through the levels. You have a range of characters, starting with Mikey here, who is um, kind of chiseled-faced, average gentleman who has three stars for each of his things. Each character has a different set of stars for each of their abilities. So Steph is a fast character, not very, not very powerful. Chunk is quite clearly a fat bastard. Um, we've got Data, who's a robot, and we've got Mouth, who seems to be generally better than Mikey, but he's dressed as like a fucking, he's like dressed like Mario in that in Mario Three when he became the, the fucking thing. I'm gonna go Mikey just because he's like straight across the board. So we start from the beginning. I played through to World 2. Um, so we start. So this is kind of weird for me at least. Um, you have a, a world map, but you can't like control where you go. And I thought when I first loaded it up, I was like, oh, well, maybe you have to travel through a few levels first before you can actually move. Nope. Nah, you don't move, it's just a world map showing you where you're travelling to, but you don't get a choice, you only get to, like, basically press play. There we go, so, I haven't really discussed the premise of the game. So, the game is, it handles well, first I just want to say, I enjoy the way the game handles, it feels nice and weighty, in a good way. There's a lot of good control in the game, you can do your wall jumps and your things, you get weapons and, and abilities. So, with your, your B button, you, uh, you can do, like, a shuriken type thing. And then you can do like a dash with your X button? Is that the X? That is the X on the gamepad, I'm a genius. And then you, you, you run about in A's to jump. And what you have to do is you, you need to collect the coins and then deposit the coins in this fat bastard piggy bank before the, the timer runs out. The timer runs out, fine, you can still do stuff, but you want to get the timer. So basically, you've got a set amount of time at the start of the game. 
to get all the coins and deposit them in the bank. If you get it done by then, you get to pick an upgrade at the end of the level for the next level. And by doing certain things in, in each level, like achievement type based things, you um, you can then get more upgrades per level, which is pretty cool. So if I get all these coins quickly, I need to get 150 denoted at the top of the screen. You've also got your health monitor there and your um, your character picture. Then uh, Yes, 150, the piggy bank, that's what he wants, right, so he'll do this. The P things give you guns and shit, so this is more for like the multiplayer stuff. They're timed though, they run out after a certain length of time. Let's see if I got just enough time. There we go, and we'll use Y to deposit quickly. Okay. Yeah. Just in the nick of time. So your your achievements are whether you lose health, as you see, no lives lost, in the bank in one attempt, and then under the allotted time. And that's basically what you need to do. The game ramps up in difficulty as you go through. The first world is um fairly easy. Once you get through to the next world, it, it starts adding more enemies and more shit to kind of get in your way and do stuff. I'm trying to think of what it reminds me of, like, graphics-wise, it kind of reminds me of Metal Slug, the third one, whatever one it was that I had in the PlayStation 2. It was on, like, a collection. Anyway, back to this game. So, <laughs> once you come to this stage, you've, you've got your three achievements or your three level ups you can get. You get to bop on this block and it gives you, like, certain upgrades. So if I want to do that one, that gives me the shoulder dash upgrade. Which means that I can do that. And then I got invincibility unlocked, okay. And then, um, I'll pro I like the magnet. Magnet makes sense. Or the time up. Uh, oh, okay, we'll get the fireball. Upgraded fireball. That's fine. We'll go to the next level. We'll try and get everything done within the allotted time. And then we'll get three more abilities we can take. And it makes us stronger for the coming days. Again, I still can't move about the map. It makes me sad. I wish I could. <laughs> I wish I could go back and do stuff. Um, mostly because it would be nice if you, you could, like, return to the previous level and then do it again if you mess up. So if you don't get your three diamonds, then you can't really, like, go back and do it again. You have to start from the very beginning of the game. Unless I'm missing something crucial that I, that I shouldn't be. This guy looks kind of scary. You scummy. Oh! Oh my god. Restart. Restart 1-1? One, one. No, I don't want to restart 1-1. One, one. I'm on 1-2! On am I not? I'm on 1-1! I'm on one, one. Still? Oh fuck. God damn it! I'm now throwing intentionally, just to show that. <laughs> or maybe I'm not, maybe I'm just bad. Popping his head, there we go. So we've got to get 250 coins this time. And um, the game... It does get harder. Right now this isn't really difficult in the game, I'm just not playing properly. But once you play yourself, you, you, you'll understand if you if you get the game, that is. You'll, you'll understand how difficult it becomes in the later stages of the game. I'm gonna just dash up here. That's, I thought I had 69 coins there. Have I ruined it? I have ruined it, damn. Let's um, bop down here. Can I not bop on you and break you? Yes, and then we'll do one more here. Give me a good gun. Grenade launcher, I'll take it. There we go. We'll blow some shit up. Give me those coins. Whoa! I shot a grenade out the sky with another grenade. This is this is this is the kind of stuff I enjoy. So your weapons that you pick up, they are only timed. You've only got them for a certain length of time. Uh -huh. Give me all the coins. Oh, give me one of those. Oh, yes. The drill cannon. Is that what that is? I thought it was a grenade launcher. Oh, really? Hmm. I died. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, you, you don't want to die. Uh, so I have to retry from 1-1. One, one. I see what you're saying, game. Okay. So I guess that I, I guess then it must save per each world rather than it being from each level. So if you want to restart, you just restart from the first level again. Um, which kind of sucks if you mess up, like say the third level, and you want to start again, or you want to start from the third level again. I mean, but all in all, I, I enjoy the gameplay. I just think it would be more fun with people o on its own. Uh, there's only so much that you can do in it before I'm like, uh, well, I've collected a, a million coins. Yeah, is there anything else I can do? I could imagine that they kind of. The, the fun of playing with friends in this game will be excellent because when you hit someone or when you get hit by certain enemies later on, you lose all your coins. So it's like you're, you you have like a grace of early on, you don't lose your coins if you're hit. Later on when you're hit, you lose every one of your coins. So say you're like say 10 seconds from being done with the level and you're about to go to the thing and one of your pals jumps in with a machine gun and like boom! You just got shot and then and then that's you done. I know I should be careful with my language, I don't want to speak about shooting things and stuff, but... But, um... Yeah, you can shoot someone and they'll lose all their coins, and then that's you, like, or I assume that's what happens. I'm really finished with this level already. I assume that's what happens. Yeah. And then it just adds to the, the whole couch co-op, I'm gonna punch my friend in the face, and it'll be all funsies. If you're looking for a game to play solo, 
I don't know if I see £10 worth of game. But we'll take some upgrades and we'll continue on as we are. So we get one of those. Uh, the What does the rainbow coin do again? I'll take a... Oh, okay. Coin spawner unlocked. Okay, very good. And we'll take the time up as well. 10% bonus time. That, that'll help in the later stages of the game. So I believe your upgrades are persistent through the whole run that you have. And each level is fairly short. You're talking like a couple of minutes at most. So bank 250 coins. So we want to get... No, not being hit. We want to get... Yep. Yeah, oh, balls. Hold on. There we go. That's what I wanted. That was the one there. Oh, fuck it. Fuck the coins. Up this way. Right, I want to get the bombs. I want to get you and then... Bomb them. Uh huh. And then we've got the drill cannon, so we can then use the drill cannon up here. Drill them. Drill them all. Yes, okay. That's a lot of coins I'm missing. Uh huh. So I need to get like another 150 thereabouts. Hello, nurse. Oh no! Okay, so I lost all my coins there. That sucks. So you can see the, the, the dangers of losing your coins. Oh, I've done it again. I've gone and done it again. Yesterday I was blasting through these levels. Yep. Oh, oh, you goddamn son of a of a bitch. Now maybe I'm not the best person to be looking at for for high level gameplay in this game. I swear I was all the way up here yesterday. Goddamn. Well, we start from the beginning. So the difficulty, maybe I missed something. Maybe there's a patch that I missed <laughs> where they made the game harder. Maybe I'm just bad today. Who knows? Right, I want to. Maybe I'll just take my time. Take your time. Don't worry about the stuff. Grab the coins. There we go. We'll come down here and grab all those. Give me that. There we go. First level's not too hard. There's nothing to really... There's no enemies. It's when they start adding the enemies. That's when I have problems. It's when I, I start not performing. Have some fireball. There we go. One of those. I, I, I enjoy the gameplay. I just, as I said, I would prefer if I had, like, other people to play with. I don't think it's much of a game that you would enjoy over long periods of time. You would probably enjoy it for one or two playthroughs, but it's not something I would continually go back to. Um, especially, I don't think there's any, like, random generation to the levels. I think the maps... I, I mean, obviously, you get, like, the random, like, appearance of things in the level, but it doesn't feel different enough on each run to make it, like... If you understand what I'm trying to say, it's not like playing Spelunky every time where it does feel different, there's a different generation every time. You've got kind of the same idea going on, and maybe you'll get like different little bits like this kind of showing up, but all in all, it feels like the same experience. Or at least for me it does. It doesn't feel varied enough. That's why you probably need other people to play, because they add that human element of just being assholes as humans are. Go. Have I got, I've got way more coins than I need, and I ran out of time. <laughs> I was just too busy talking. Maybe that's what I'll do. Let's not rush, let's just take our time. We'll get any upgrades we can. Two upgrades is fine. So I'll grab the magnet, which means that we'll drag coins towards us. And then we'll get the, the invincibility unlocked. Okay, very good. Solid play. Right, let's beat World 1 and we'll try and get to Sand World, where it's a lot more fucking... Dastardly. I mean, this shouldn't be hard. This is the second level in, like, the first world. This is, like, the tutorial central. What is that? And, well, that, that's, that seems like it would be good. There we go. I'm trying to butt slam this bomb, but it's not working. But we got it there anyway. Come on now. Oh, yep. Yep. There we go. Grab the, grab the coinage. And onward to great glory. One thing I do enjoy is the, the pixel art on the enemies. The enemies look really cool. Like that guy up there, he's a fucking horrible looking bastard. How did I get up here? Wait, hold, hold the phone. Hey up! Oh, that's how I get up, okay. Uh-huh. When are you gonna respawn? With something new. Oh, come on now. Yes, that's how we do it. And give me a good gun here or something. Yep. Oh, magnet, okay. Nice. Up, up. Bombs. So the magnet makes it so that I grab every coin like straight away. Uh huh. He. Yep. Yep. There we go. Very good. And now we've got this over here. We've got a P. It kind of reminds me of Mario. The P. Like the pow. Pow buttons. What the fuck is the red bits? Oh, it's those. Oh, you fuckers! You tricked me. It was a fucking barrage of hell. 
Wait, hold on. You're getting fucked up now. I ain't standing for that shit. One for you, sir. One for you. Uh -huh. hey, let me get over here. Oh, no. I Come on. Oh, I thought I still had my magnet, but I don't. Yep. Yeah. I'm grabbing this stuff up here, though. This little mouse looking fella needs to die, I think. Yes. Okay. Now we're talking. I can do this. You can do this, Tom. It's not It's not difficult. You've, you've been here before. Can I just slam my head against that and it breaks? I can! Why wasn't I doing that before? Why did no one tell me? That must be me nearly done here. Oh, I'm way over target. Fuck it. We'll just get all the coins we can. They don't really go towards anything other than banking at the piggy bank. There we go, pig. Take all my coins. So we'll only get one upgrade this time because we have um, lost one life and, of course, not done it in the allotted time. But we've moved on to another level, which is good. So we get some guns. Getting my gun on. And I want that automatic rifle looking. The assault rifle, yes. I don't really know what the upgrades do to the weapons. I, I would imagine you get them for longer time and they probably do more damage. I think I got one more here. Green Valley, number three. So 300 coins this time. Why are you up in the sky? That's, that's new. I don't, I don't reckon. Aye! Oh, you fucking dirty little fucker. You little tweety pie looking piece of shit. Not happy. Like, these coin spawners are good. They'll just continually spawn coins for us. And what, what, what are you doing up there, you bastard, you fat pig? You pink, curly tailed. Motherfucker. I think when I get angry, I, I perform better in games. I I'm not really sure if it can be confirmed yet, but I feel like whenever I'm like... I'm just gonna be angry at the pig from now on, and then... I'm still angry at the pig, and when I'm angry at the pig, I seem to do well, so let's just be angry at the pig. Give me all your coins. Yeah, yeah, damn... Pink, bacon, farming... Motherfucker. Why am I oh, so anti-pig today? I enjoy bacon. Don't get me wrong. Uh, Oh, fucking you as well, you guy, you damn swine. Swine, because he's a pig, get it? Uh-huh, there we go, very good. Down, down, butt stomp, and then give me your invincibility, why not? There we go, right pig, me and you, we're having words. We'll get two upgrades this time, which is okay. Um, yeah. We'd prefer getting the three, but that's fine. Thumbs up from Big Mikey. On you go, sunshine. Yes, if we can get another time up, that would be quite cool. If we can get, uh, oh, I wanted the bazooka. What you got for me? Bazooka, time. No! Okay, there we go. 10% bonus time will do. So I should say your, your um, dashing and abilities don't seem to have a limit. Um, they seem to be, like, um, unlimited, <laughs> which is basically what I just said. Um, oh, yes. Oh, we shoot from our arse? Oh, yes, okay, this is, I remember this now. This is like a, a mob, like, challenge area room. A mob challenge area room. Give me the guns. I don't think so. You haven't spawned yet. Easy. Oh, there's the pig. Pig, what you saying? My gold coin. I'm not giving you the coin. You fat bastard. Okay, maybe I am then. He gets the big old coin. I don't know what that... I forgot that that level existed. Which is a good thing, because it reminds me so you got the mega coin from Green Valley. Ah, right, okay. So that must be just like the last level then. Um, so we're on to the desert. We'll do a couple of the desert then. We'll, we'll wrap it up. I haven't been past the desert though, so I can't comment on the late game. But that's kind of what the whole gameplay first impressions thing is all about. Me looking at a game and then saying what I think of the beginning of the game, which is basically what first impressions videos are, to be honest. You can tell a lot about a game from playing, like, say, an hour or so of it. Oh. Now I remember why I hate this area. Fuck you, Thwomp Man. Spiky Thwomp! I've never been more unhappy. It's like the Spelunky Thwomps when they get you. It's the saddest of days. Give me your coins. Right, pig. I, I need to start hating you again. The last time I hated the pig, things happened, things were going well, so we need to start hating the pig again. Damn that coin. Oh, you fucking... Oh, please. 
get him then. We'll get him. Give me the stuff. Tweety pie, piss off. None of your nonsense. Interesting. That's way easier actually. I've just worked out in my... <laughs> That if I press down while I've jumped, it will do a butt stomp instead of having to press the dash button. Which is way more useful. Good job, developers. I enjoy that very much, actually. That makes a lot of sense. See, what I was doing before is I was trying to, like, get myself lined up. Then I was doing, like, a dash and pressing down. But really, what you just need to do is press down. And that's all you need to do to do the butt stomp. That's, that's very useful. Let me in here. I should probably just do one of these to you. Fuck you. We're almost at the right coinage level. There we go, come on now. Oh, fucking have one of those. Oh, have two! Uh, oh, we've still got time. Come on, pig. Give me the good stuff. That should be enough. Come on. Oh, yes, okay, pig me. <laughs> pig me! Give me that bacon. Oh, very nice, very good. Solid play. Okay. So we've got another couple of upgrades. We'll do another level, then I'll wrap it up. Um, of course, the multiplayer I can't comment on, as I've said, haven't had a chance to play it. I'll take a grenade launcher. And... I close my eyes for that one. Ground Pound! Upgraded, I'll take that also. And um, we'll move on to a harder, more deserty nonsense. So, 450 coins this time. The difficulty is ramping up. Oh, there's too many enemies already. Oh, no. <laughs> I can tell already it's, it's above my skill level. Yep. And then we'll do one of these up. Here we go. Grab the stuff. I think what the game does well for people like me is that I'm like a... Almost compulsive, I must get all the stuff in video games type person. I tend to be that way. Um, so when I see all these coins, and I see that no one's picking them up, I'm thinking, that's a lot of coins that I could be picking up. Oh, fucking Tweety Pie, aha! Yeah! There we go. This is when it gets dangerous, when there's too many Tweety Pies, that's when you know there's problems. I have one for you, sir. Oh, and up we go. Yes, we got a magnet, so I can come over here and go boom. Oh no, the eyeball! Uh huh. So if I can get in there, it's going to be like a fucking coin bonanza. Hmm, I should probably be more over here. I can just not even be near that and get the coins. Right, Thwomp. Is it Thwomp? What's he? He's got like his lip pierced. He wants to do it, but he's not gonna. Whoop. Yes, okay, give me the coins. Whoa! Oh, the, the, the great escape. Oh no. Damn. <laughs> well, this hopefully gives you a little look into what Mega Coin Squad is all about. You can get it on Steam right now, it's available as of today. And as I said, it's on sale for the first week or two. You can check that out on Steam. Link will be in the description below. And yeah, we'll see you next time.